So today with CK Vlogs, we are heading to Amboseli National Park. Yes, and in so doing, we have two route options to use. Either the Namanga or down with the Mombasa Road and branch off at Amali. Uh, but we choose the Amali route, Amali Rotoktok route, because it's shorter in time and most part of the distance is tarmac. As compared to the other option of at the river towards Namanga, in which from Namanga heading to Amboseli, we'll be doing over 60 kilometers off-road. So after exiting Nairobi and passing the Machakos Junction, there isn't much of towns along the way, apart from the notable major ones being Sultan Hamoud and Emali. And here we are entering Sultan Hamoud town. And uh, do you guys um, know the history behind Sultan Hamoud town? Or why would a town in the middle of Ukambani be called Sultan Hamoud? And today, with CK Vlogs, I'm going to give you all these stories. So Sultan Hamoud is located about 109 kilometers from Nairobi and 323 kilometers from Mombasa. And it's in Makueni County and just 50 kilometers away from the proposed Konza Techno City. This means it has a high potential of growth. Did you know how this town really got its name? Don't worry, today I'm gonna give you all this history. So how did the town in Ukambani acquire the name of a ruler of an Indian Ocean island in Zanzibar? This could be a question many travelers on Mombasa Highway ask themselves each time they pass through Sultan Hamoud. This settlement sprang up during the construction of the Kenya-Uganda railway line in the early 1900s. And around this time, Said Ali Hamoud bin Mohammed was ruled in Zanzibar and had made good relationships with the British who were in charge of the construction of the railway. At this time, the leader of Zanzibar, Sultan Hamoud, saw the construction of the railway line as an opportunity for his government to transact business across the two countries. When the construction reached the, the present day Sultan Hamoud, the Zanzibar ruler visited to see progress and camped there for some days. That visit gave the town its name. 13 kilometers after Sultan Hamoud is a Mali town. As, and as you can see by the numerous tracks parked by the roadside, this town is a favorite resting place for the truck drivers ferrying goods from the port of Mombasa to inland destinations such as Nairobi, Uganda, Rwanda, and Eastern DRC. It's christened the town that never sleeps due to its vibrant nightlife. Both the old meter gauge railway line that the British built and the new standard gauge railway line that the Chinese built pass by these two towns, Emali and Sultan Hamoud, thus connecting this town, two towns to the capital city Nairobi and the port of Mombasa. From Emali, we are exiting Mombasa Road, A109, and joining C102 towards Oloitoktok. From C102, uh, the road leading to Loitoktok, you can either enter Mboseri National Park with a Remito Gate or Kimana Gate. This will mainly be determined by the camp you'll be staying in. For us, we'll be staying in a camp that is near Eremito Gate, so we'll choose to enter Mboseri National Park via Eremito Gate. And here we are branching off from C102 towards Eremito Gate. It would be good to note that the route option going via Iramito gate is mainly gravel for 20 kilometers to the gate from the tarmac. So someone with a smaller car may choose the route via Kimana gate because uh, recently it has been tarmac. Yeah, that's a recent development. The route from the tarmac to Kimana gate of Amboseli is all tarmac up to Amboseli Kimana gate.
Ano ka po? Okay. But everybody can see you. <laughs> no, it's it's you maybe gonna have your own your own swimming costume on. Okay. Morning from Mamboseli, yay! And this buffalo was our first spotting. I uh, seems to enjoy the water. They are water buffaloes, and there are quite many in Mamboseli. And it doesn't take time before you spot the king. Yes, the elephant. This is the home of the elephants, and you can see there is plenty of food for the elephants. And by the way, did you know the meaning of the word Amboseli? Amboseli simply means salty dust in the Ma language. Do you, do you know the name of this bird? It's called a crane. Uh, it's very symbolic to the Ugandans. Yeah, they, it's, it's even in their flag. And doing your Museveni. And it's quite, quite beautiful. Nani kama inajua hivo? Oh, no, tu vina Yeah, 
you might want to know like why visit Amboseli, like why Kenya has a lot of parks. Each park is unique. So Amboseli gives you the best views of Mount Kilimanjaro. Yes, Tanzanians have the mountain, but the views are in Kenya. And their best views from Amboseli. As you see the wildlife, as you see the elephants, you have the bonus of Kilimanjaro. For just a recap of your geography, Kilimanjaro is the tallest mountain in Africa and it's snow capped. It's also the highest freestanding mountain in the world. Please note, freestanding mountain. And the height is 5,896 meters. Yes. The second tallest mountain in Ghana, Munajua, Mount Kenya. Of course, you know that. The second tallest mountain in Africa is Mount Kenya. As we enjoy the game drive, let me give you a look of the history of Amboseli National Park. This park was formerly known as Masai Amboseli Game Reserve and is located in Kajado County. The park measures about 39,206 hectares or 392 kilometers squared. Amboseli was set aside as the Southern Reserve for the Masai in 1906, but returned to the local control as a game reserve in 1948. It was gazetted a national park in 1974 to protect the core of this unique ecosystem. The park was declared a UNESCO site in 1991. The, the first European to venture in this in the area was Joseph Thompson, and this was in 1883. This was a feared Masai region known as Epusel, who was astonished by the hallmark way of wildlife and the contrast between the semi-arid areas of the dried lake bed and the oasis of the swamps which are a habitant for bird life and a contrast which still persists today. He would be the second European to sightsee the Kilimanjaro after the German missionary Johanna Redman. Though Joseph Thompson did a great work to prove to the Kenyan government that the area would turn out into a great tourist destination since he was friendly to the wildlife and a nature lover. It too would be great to also note that Thompson Gazelle and the Thompson Falls in Nyahururu, Kenya are named after him. He excelled as an explorer more than an exact scientist. He was known to avoid confrontations among his potters or with the indigenous people neither killing any native or losing any of his men to violence. His motto is often quoted to be, he who goes gently goes safely. He who goes safely goes far. Hmm. Those who frequent Amboseli can tell you a few years ago it was very hard to spot these flamingos. Then suddenly, this gregarious bird on a night flight discovered the new water, water bodies in Amboseli. Yes, it was like, like Amboseli is going up. Um, a few years ago, the lake was basically too tiny. But these birds, um, flamingos, usually migrate at night. And it seems like on a dark night, the flaming pink birds swapped down and took up residency down here in Amboseli. So hyenas, even if they are not really fast, if they find the cheetah, for example, they have got a kill, they're going to steal it from the cheetah. Like the small cats, unless the cheetahs are mean. If they get an animal and they, it's weak and can't outrun them, they will feed on it even when it's moving. Yeah, they are taking a siesta.
enough for everyone. Looks like an elephant or a hippo. Do you think those pelicans sw uh, flew all the way from Europe? Margarita. Do you think they, they, they flew all the way from Europe? No? You think these ones have been born here? Yes. They are Kenyan pelicans. <laughs> Kenyan pelicans. Siesta, siesta time. Five. Hmm? Five. Yeah, you have a good eyesight. Yes. And now that we are in Amboseli National Park, the home of the African elephant, we will have to learn a few things with the African elephant. So the African savanna elephant is the world's largest land animal with adult males standing up to 3 meters high and weighing up to 6,000 kgs, that's about 6 tons on average. Males only reach their full size at the age of 35 to 40 years. Yes, that's well over half their lifespan as wild elephants can live up to 60 to 70 years. And it's not just the adults, that even the calves are, are huge at birth. A baby elephant can weigh 120 kilos. And talking about elephants, how many species do you know of elephants? So there are mainly three species of elephants. There's the African savanna or the bush elephant. Uh, and then there's the African forest elephant. And then the, the Asian elephant. They love feeding on the marshy areas and they love the water sources, that's why they are called water bugs. So after a successful game drive um, that we started in the morning, we returned to our camp in the afternoon. <laughs> It was time to enjoy ah a fish fillet. Wah, na avocado. Ah, ilikuwa tamu. Later in the evening, Greg and Margarita uh, decided to teach me a new game, dominoes. Yeah, and I learned it really quick.
Yeah, same one. I mean, it's vacation. What? Huh? 2023, and you pull a snack. Hmm? Could you pump up? Eh? Now, who's your pump? Ah, yeah, yeah. But you get a Hey, I'm going to go to It's another beautiful morning for Mamboseli and today we are lucky to have the Kilimanjaro behind a big elephant and it's giving us the moment as it gives us some pauses. But I would like to sadly mention that 90% of the African elephants has been wiped out in the past century. This is largely due to ivory trade and uh, this has continued mainly because countries like China uh, ivory trade is still legal but many African governments uh, Kenya being among the leading has done great to conserve the elephant and ivory trading is illegal here and also poaching actually did you know that the tusks in an elephant are actually teeth they are actually enlarged in scissor teeth and it's first appear when the elephants are around two years And some more little fun facts about elephants. As you can observe, elephants are constantly eating and can consume up to 150 kilos of food per day. Imagine. Also, it's good to note that elephants communicate in a variety of ways, including sounds like trumpet calls, body language, touch, and scent. They also communicate through seismic signals sounds that seismic signal sounds that create vibrations in the ground which they may detect through their bones mm -hmm. Shots. another amazing fact to notice that a baby elephant can with, can stand within 20 minutes of being born and can walk within an hour after two days they can keep up with the herd Imagine that. Kilimanjaro is there behind. Just there. And the magnificent elephant is in the front. You have definitely heard that an elephant never forgets. Did you know where this comes from? This comes from the fact that elephant's temporal lobe, the, or the area the, of the brain associated with memory, is larger and denser than Could that of people. Imagine, yeah, wakona, hmm? Akilikubwa kuliko ya mwanadamu. Oh, beautiful. 
already know where? Uh, to Savoy. Uh, Savoy. Breakfast. <laughs> Breakfast and then Savoy. Savoy. Okay. Amboseli, how was Amboseli? Very beautiful. Very beautiful? Yes. What 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Should anyone visit Amboseli? Do you of recommend? Of course. Okay. <laughs> With animals. Of course my horse. <laughs> <laughs> my horse. Of course my horse. Ah, okay. <laughs> my horse. My horse like that. Ah, my horse. Of course my horse is an expression meaning? Uh, obviously. Obviously. Okay. Yeah. Obviously, you should visit Amboseli. Yeah. 10 out of 10. <laughs> and with these views of Kilimanjaro, we soon ended our trip in Amboseli. And not with not taking some photos at the exit of Kimana Gate. Yes, some pausing time. Yeah. And now we'll be heading to Savo West National Park. And, um,. I want you guys to follow up on the next vlog because I'll be highlighting Savo West National Park. Let's get to see what's there. And to get a, a chance to view this the first, you have to be a subscriber. If you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe, share this video. I'm sure if you enjoyed up to this point, you like it. And imagine if you got me two or three of your friends, I'll soon be at a thousand subscribers. I'm at 420. Imagine with all this creativity. So guys, looking forward to you in the next vlog. Bye. Bye. Au revoir. Au revoir.